Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. We are taking a look at the PTU patch 3.4.0K and what's left to fix for a 3.4 live build. The testing focus of the current PTU patch is the Hawk Freelance Variants, 600i Touring, Lawville Central Business District, the Hurston Mission Variants, and Mission Givers Wallace Klim and Clovestar Neely. The patch has updated a few things. They've removed the Second Life Undersuit from the Tammy and Sons shop in Lawville. They've updated various animations for Constantine Hurston. They've added the Hawk, Eclipse, Arrow, and Terrapin to ship scramble race options. They've slightly decreased the size of quantum travel markers. They made the video call feed on the direct comms less transparent. The drug bag from Klim's mission should no longer be offset in the player's hands. There should no longer be a replace me ball in Klim's area. Cancelling quantum travel while en route to one of the OM markers or points. The orbital markers should no longer teleport the player to a random far off location. Switching into gyro mode when in a turret should no longer cause the player's view to look straight up or down. They fixed the price discrepancy between the central business district and Lawville's admin area for Agrisium. The first player to join a party should no longer be kicked out by additional joins. They fixed the personal elevator, lift and landing gear on the 600i. The players should no longer be able to purchase cargo at Lawville for ships that haven't been spawned yet. Airlocks should now properly light state switch when cycling. Newer ship weapons should now correctly mount and fire in the correct direction in Arena Commander. Hostile target marking should now properly work. Mission descriptions should now be present for underground facility missions. The patrol missions should now properly progress after eliminating all hostiles. They fixed AI kill counters not updating when AI are killed by non-mission participants. Downed relays should now have the proper lighting around them at night. The terminal holding the disc for the down relay missions should no longer become unusable after attempting to interact with it. UI elements that included the wave counter in swarm modes, the capture UI in Star Marine, and the race UI in Classic Race should now be present again. NPCs should be properly moving around lower sections of Levski. Fuel requirements shown on multi-step jumps on the quantum route plotting should no longer display in red text even if the player has enough fuel for each jump. They've also fixed five client crashes and three server crashes. They have identified some other known issues which they're attempting to fix. VoIP and VoIP are temporarily offline in this patch. You may be unable to buy commodities at the central business district. Mission markers will sometimes fail to appear. The workaround for that at the moment is on the Moby Glass, untrack and retrack the mission to generate a marker. Klim may occasionally be facing the wrong way. Ruto's hologram currently doesn't appear. FPS AI are not responding correctly. AI ships are often observed not moving. And the 600 eyes lifts may be missing interaction prompts. So stability and performance are actually really pretty solid currently um, for this patch. And once those known issues are fixed, it looks like we will have a release candidate for 3.4 Live. Hopefully, all of those things are pretty minor and they can just power fix them um, and go through and iron that stuff. We do know when they're not adding new features and they're just bug fixing, they can get a couple of builds out quite easily a day and fix problems like this. Hopefully, as I said, they're minor and they're not major blockers. And then we should have that release for 3.4 Live for the weekend. <laughs> 